Okay, here we go. Baby time. Are you okay? How does it feel? Like shit? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. Is, is that normal? Uh, what do we, we do? do? Oh, fuck. Just don't scream, okay? Well, what do we do? Kenny, don't scream. Oh, God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right. All right. Give me a second. Oh, thanks, no Kenny. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. Now you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. It hurts more than before. Is something wrong? What should we do first, Kenny? Kenny, come on, you gotta focus. Right, right, sorry. Yeah. Clean water for one thing. You're still Wait. irrelevant. You're still irrelevant. And we gotta get out of this damn cold, too. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. Okay, buildings. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Clem. Bonnie? I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mike a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking... How do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. She's helped us so far. Yeah, no, you're right. Maybe but even, even if she takes off... Just something to think about. Even if she takes off, it doesn't hurt us now. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. Maybe Let's I should go with Jane. Better hurry and catch up then. Alright, everyone, you know what I to want do. An, I want to... Let's be fast, and let's be careful. I mean, we make, we make a really good team. We make a really good team. So, it only seems natural to go with Jane. Not because I want to keep a look on her, just because... I think we can be a very effective team. This bug on my screen. Away. Oh, hey. Shoo. What are you doing out there by yourself? You okay? She's not okay, is she? Hey. Oh, hey. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a lot's happened today. And I don't know if... If you want to stick around, I understand. Wow. It's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. I mean, if she leaves, it's not because she hates us, it's just because she thinks she's be better off by herself. I, I th you know, you don't seem okay. I like to talk about huh? problems. Well, yeah, but who is okay? Uh, we need you focused. Let's just focus on this right now. Oh, Jane, don't die, please. I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. Visitor center. Oh, we got a oh, we got a cannon. Okay, <laughs> we're done here. This is the place to be. Check this out. A gate still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. I don't know. Who knows what could be in there? Do you think you can pick the lock? I should be able to figure something out. Maybe what? this will work. What, you mean that Clementine isn't going to do everything? You know, uh, 
It wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. She got really pretty eyes. Is, is that just me? Maybe it is. Ooh, cannon! Fire all guns! You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement so they're safe. Why would they do that? Well, at least we got a good lookout place. I guess it's broken. This place sucks. I don't know. I don't want to be here anymore. Oh, a poster. Oh, when will it end this cruel, cruel world? Civil War Museum. Okay, what's in the trash? Find anything? No, not even trash. Please, no walkers, please, no walkers, please, no walkers. No, there's some kind of invisible force stopping here. Stop, stopping me here. English. Well, uh, I guess force fields will be quite useful in the zombie apocalypse. No, okay, so Jane, uh, I don't seem to be able to find anything. Sorry. Have you seen any walkers around? I haven't seen any, but they're always around. Do we have a cannonball? Can we take this thing loose? And what's. Oh! Battle of Parker's Run. Ow! Shit! You okay? Yeah. I think I almost had it. Keep looking. What happens if you get zombie blood in a infected wound? Oh, in a wound. Open wound. That means you're dead anyway, isn't it? Doesn't it? Aha! Uh -huh. Can't hide from me. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep What's that? Mind. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. New people. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. Why is he coming up here? No idea. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. Well... Maybe I can try talking to him. Good call. Shit. Hide now. But I was supposed to talk to him. Oh, so he's, he isn't bitten at least. He's just a little bit, a little bit crooked. Hey. Whoa. Okay. I'm just a kid. Please don't hurt me. What are you doing here? Nothing. Oh, he's scared. I'm Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. Okay. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially Malinka Devochka. Uh, a little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. Okay, so it's Russian. <gasps> Back up. Put the bag down. We're not rubbing this Clint, guy. Make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. He's just like this poor guy. Or is he?
No, I have no more guns. I swear. Oh, it's a drug a drug addict. Anything? <sighs> wow. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. This medicine is all she has. You're lying. No, it's true. No, I'm, I'm not. She's in the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless, and now you, you take my sister's medicine? You are worried. Hey, we've got people who are suffering. Who need this medicine? Hey, hey let's not go we there. still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need People that. We're not just thieves. As much as yours. You are not special. Clementine, yes. You must be. We are not thieves. Worry about your sick sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. Oh yeah? Well, I think you're just some junkie. You know what that word means? Oh, huh? No, no, I'm I'm telling the truth. I swear upon my own uh, life. We're not thieves. We will make Medicine. you. We will make you. You're not taking them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Oh, Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. Spasiba. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Don't. Just let me go. Jane, don't do it. Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Whoa. Go. Now we see the nastiest side of Jane. Whatever it takes to survive. And we've got a gun. No? We returned the gun? Okay. Can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Threatening some stupid kid? I thought you were going to shoot him. Why? Did you want me to? No. Go get the others. Oh, uh, she's... This place open. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. She's regretting it at least. That's good. It's just... It was just the adrenaline, I guess. You can't... We really need to preserve some of our humanity. We can't just be all pragmatic. Clem, that, that doesn't Clem, work. Hey, any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from me in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. The deck might be a safe place we can stay tonight, where Rebecca could have the baby. At least, if we can't find something better. I guess that's something. I should check it out. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah. She's trying to get the gift shop opened. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm never quite sure if she just done like people, or just plain out done like me. I like her. She's honest, and she knows what she's doing. Yep. That's more than I can say for some. Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? Yeah. But when I look at Kenny now, he just... He seems broken. And broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. I, no, he he, he'll be, be back. Guy. But I just think he's... He'll be back. More than he can handle. You're wrong. Kenny's stronger than anyone. He tries to protect us. I don't know, Clem. Trust me. I know... He's your friend and all. But what Kenny did to Carver, it sounded like he beat right through the corpse and into the floor. Is that where we are now? Is it? Oh, what a great way to use the silent to tell the others about the death. option. Yeah. Oh, that was awesome. Did you guys see that? I'll see you back there. Oh, that was really nice. Man, that scene was better than any words. Oh, I love this game. 
that was a really nice dialogue. No, I th actually think Kenny's. Uh, we need we need a purpose. Here, People need a purpose wrong. to go through life. Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. And I think Kenny's coming around. Clementine. He just needs to find a purpose What'd again. The building around back has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer. It's coming so much faster than I thought. I told you, you're getting yourself all worked up over nothing. There's a room up there that might be good for when Rebecca has the baby. Jane's trying to get it open. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. I don't know. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. Well, business as usual, then, I guess, when you're getting a baby. I wish Alvin was here. Yeah, he, he was a good man. Alvin was a good man. He was nice to me, and always looked out for everyone. That man had one of the biggest hearts of anybody I've ever met. I should have told him that more often. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? You're going to be a good mom. We sure have come a long way since we first met, huh? Mm -hmm. You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. I didn't say that. Uh, I did not oh, say shit. that. I got this. We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while, and I'm not saying I don't trust him, but I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on him. All right. Go ahead. I'll be fine. I barely know these people. I mean, Mike and Bonnie. Just first, Kenny. You okay? Are you okay, Kenny? Sure. Why wouldn't I be? Oh. I just want to get him, get him a, a pat on the shoulder and say it's gonna be okay. Don't worry, Kenny. How are you feeling, Rebecca? I knew it was gonna hurt, Clint. But I didn't think it would hurt like this. Actually, I think I read somewhere that when you give birth, there's actually more pain than the body can actually handle. But, you know, women are awesome and they just, like, push through. I mean, tch, duh, pain. Who gives a sh... Hmm. Fallen but never forsaken. That's... That's really nice. He's carrying his wounded comrade through a war-torn hell. A true comrade. Fallen but never forsaken. That's a nice sentiment. Which brings me back to Sarah. You know, fallen but never forsaken. I did leave her. But I did try... I did try to get her to follow us, but I took a split-second decision and and I just left her. The, the, the... For her, I was not that a good a friend to her. I mean, I, I liked her, but I wasn't her, like, her best, best friend. So... I hope one of these buildings is safer than out here. So... Oh, what I mean by that is, this might sound weird or bad or or something like that, but if it was like Luke or Kenny, I might have stayed try and to the very end to try and get him out. But when it was Sarah. Actually, I don't know. Even if it was Kenny or Luke, I might have left them now when I think about it. I don't think that they would want me to to bring them down. Observation deck. This looks like where we are right now. I wonder if Mike and Bonnie have found anything at the museum. But if there's a slim chance that you can save someone, even if 
there's great risk to your own life, would you take it? Now that's, I think that's the question they're trying to evoke here. And that's what I like about the Walking Dead series is that every choice has a theme of some sort. Now, how much are you willing to sacrifice? How much are you willing to put yourself or other in danger to get the things you want? All those questions are great questions and something that you have to make in a snap second decision and then afterwards you get to think about it. Did I do the right thing? Was I a monster? Was... Did I do it f for myself or for the group? Uh, it's... Oh, I love it! Games that make you think are good games. I've said that several times before and I, I, I'm keeping to that.